The story of our beginnings can be traced to the house church at the home of Mr. R. B. W. Jayasekar. Services were held there from April 1924 by the Reverend G. A. F. De Silva, who was then a deacon and assistant curate. With his ordination to priesthood in December of the same year, arrangements were made to hold services in a prayer room on Gall Road. The Bishop of Colombo dedicated the place for public worship, but with the increase in numbers, it was decided to build a hall which could be used as a church and school, and hence the chapel and the school hall were built. The transfer of Reverend G. A. F. de Silva, Reverend L. O. Tusan, was appointed in June 1930. Services were held regularly in a small room adjoining the hall which was used for classes by the girls' school. On Saturdays, members of the parish willingly helped to arrange the hall for Sunday services in the Chapel of the Epiphany as it was then known. The need for a church where members of the parish could drop in at any time for prayer was greatly felt and in 1937, a building site for a church and parsonage was purchased by the Bishop of Colombo. A church building committee was formed and an appeal for funds was made. Designs for a church were also submitted to the church architectural committee, but the project lacked sufficient funds. In October 1948, after the retirement of Reverend Toussaint, Reverend Percy Wickramasinghe took charge of the parish and with great enthusiasm set about raising funds to build the new church. But in February of the following year, he was called for higher service and the Reverend S.D. Bartholomew was appointed to fill the vacancy. A new design for the church was created and the building committee as well as every member of the parish shared Reverend Bartholomew's enthusiasm and determination to build the church. The Archdeacon of Colombo, the Venerable A.J. Kendall Barker, blessed the site and cut the first sod on October 29, 1949, and the foundation of the new church was laid on March 5, 1950. Finally, the church was consecrated for worship during the octave of the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi on October 6, 1951, by His Lordship the Right Reverend Archibald Rollo Graham Campbell, and given the name, the Church of St. Francis of Assisi. It is with humble thanksgiving that we praise God for our church and for his guidance in developing the work here from small beginnings in a house church to this noble edifice where we are able to worship him in the beauty of holiness. It is good, however, to remind ourselves that while God delights in temples made by human hands, he delights more in the temple of the human heart that is dedicated, consecrated and illumined by his perpetual presence.